Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Borussia Dortmund Karimo series. As you can see right here, we have drawn Inter Milan in the Champions League. If you guys missed the last episode, go back and watch it. The link to the playlist is in the description below. So, now that you've watched that video, as you can see right here in the last game in the Champions League, which is obviously the first leg of the Champions League round of 16, was against Inter Milan and we lost that game one goal to nil. And this time now we have to turn around that game. Hopefully we'll be able to do so. And also guys, I have a question for you guys. There's a straw poll in the description below you guys can go ahead and vote should we keep Ernesto Cato he's like four months remaining on his contract and apart from that he wants 25,000 euros per week he's only 71 rated guys he's got a potential of 82 to 88 so let me know if we should keep him I'm not too sure if we'll need him in the series because we already have quality midfielders like Tele Mans and even Pazo and even Pjanic now so you guys can let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below as well please vote in the straw poll so that's done and now it's time to face Inter Milan at home at the Signal Iduna Park we need to overturn a 1-0 deficit I think we can do that we just don't have to concede here but but now Lukaku has the ball here in the 20 minute, 20th minute of this game. He puts it in. Horrible ball from Romelu Lukaku. You expect more from a player like him. And again, they have a chance here. The ball is with Gustavo. Plays it into Davide Santon. Santon back to Gustavo who tries to cut inside here. Gustavo takes the shot. And actually, it was very close to going in. Really good attempt from Gustavo here. And now the ball is again with Luis Gustavo. He's running the show here. It's with Lukaku right now. Lukaku puts it in. Gaia was very close to putting it into his own net. But luckily for us, he didn't. And now Klaassen has the ball here. Xavier Klaassen puts it into Matteo Damien here. It's Damien who gets fouled from behind from Luis Gustavo. That's got to be a red card. And that'll completely change this game. Up till now, it's been Inter Milan dominating. And this will give us a chance to you know, dominate the game. Now we have a chance here. A penalty. Mark Roy is going to be taking it. And Roy slots it home. Really good penalty. For Bottom left corner. It can't get any better for Marco Royce here. It's 1 0 to Borussia Dortmund. We now just need to score one more goal and we will be going to the next round of the Champions League, which is the quarterfinals. Now we have a corner. It's going to be Pjanic to take it. Pjanic puts it in and the header from Socrates hits the post. I think this is the third time Socrates has hit the post from a corner or the crossbar. Really unlucky stuff from him. And now Aubameyang here. He has the chance to score here and give us the lead here. I mean, the 2 0 lead, but Aubameyang's chip shot is just saved by Handanovic. Easy stuff from him. Him. And now we have another chance here. Klaassen puts it in to Mark Royce, who's now one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But Royce's shot is saved by Handanovic. He's been on insane form. I can't seem to beat him after that goal we scored. And obviously now Pjanic has the ball right now. Puts it into Pierre Emedic Aubameyang. Aubameyang takes the long shot. But Handanovic again with the save. Gaia tries to put it in. But obviously Handanovic again makes the save. Now it's Royce with the ball here. Royce takes a beautiful touch to cut inside. It's still Royce here. Royce finds space. Aubameyang is through on goal. He sees Handanovic coming forward. But his chip is so pathetic i mean obama Young had two clear good chances to score but both the chip shots were just horrible and that's it 90 minutes are done guys and we are going to extra time it's one all right now on aggregate we need to score we can't concede if we do concede i think it's all over and they had a great chance to score here but leno with a brilliant save that's just insane stuff from leno and now they have another chance we're barely having any chances yet in extra time yet it's going to be quite to take it he jumps over the ball it's martin montoya lays it off to jovetic jovetic takes the shot it goes above the crossbar thank goodness if he would have conceded then I will ever be heartbreaking guys but anyways as you can see right here we have eight shots seven on target in this game we've definitely created more than them but hopefully now on penalties we will be able to go to the next round here the first penalty to be taken from Royce he misses it how could I have done that how did I miss with Mark Royce here it's gonna be over to take the set first penalty for Inter Milan he scores Lena couldn't save that one and now it's Aubameyang to take a penalty can he score for us he has to yes he does Aubameyang doesn't disappoint now it's uh, Icardi now to take the penalty he scores it. That was a really good penalty. Leno completely fooled. Now it's Pjanic to take the penalty. He slots it home. Decent penalty from Pjanic as well. Guarin now. It's called Guarin. Can he miss? No, he can't. He scores. That was a perfect penalty from him. Now it's Douglas Costa to take the penalty. He goes to the right side of the net and scores. Now it's going to be uh, Medel to score. Gary Medel does score. And that means now we have to score this one or else we are out of the Champions League. It's going to be Yuri Tielemans to take this one. Please, Tielemans, score this one. Yes, he does. Great penalty from Yuri. And obviously now, if Martin Montoya scores this one, Inter Milan are through to the round of, third round of eight. I mean, quarterfinals of the Champions League. But Martin Montoya takes the penalty. He misses. That was literally a Higuain penalty. What a miss from Martin Montoya. Now, Klaassen puts the, the penalty into the back of the net. And that means now, if we save this penalty or they miss it, we will be going to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. It's going to be Murillo to take the penalty. Murillo takes it, but what a save from Bern Leno. He puts us into the next round of the Champions League, the quarterfinals. 
Thanks to Burn Leno, what a save from him. He's been really good in this game with all the crucial saves he's made. Royce is celebrating with him and Royce, Royce should be thanking Leno for making that save or else all the blame would be on Royce for missing the first penalty. Insane stuff from Dortmund and now we are going to be facing Galatasaray in the next round of the Champions League. Let me know your predictions on the, about this game in the comment section below. Do you guys think we'll progress and if yes by what score and all that so you guys can let me know about this in the comment section below. And also now let's have a look at the Bundesliga table. I mean yeah we are progressing to the next round of the Champions League but we still need to play well in the, uh, in the Bundesliga to actually win that competition. That's a big aim in this season, a big uh, objective we need to achieve. I think we can because we have a quality squad and obviously more Müller is a top scorer of the Bundesliga with 19 goals, but Aubameyang isn't too far off with 15, Suarez it has 13 goals. Let me know which player will finish as top scorer in the Bundesliga in the comment section below. Will it be Müller, Aubameyang or Luis Suarez? But now it's time to face Bayern Munich and surprisingly this season they haven't been playing that well and that's a really, really surprising thing because last season they won the Bundesliga by like 13 points. So I'm really surprised by their performance this season. They're four points behind us. To be honest, that isn't too much, but the standards Bayern Munich have set in Europe are just really insane. Here they do have the first chance of this game as Lam goes down, but here, good tackle from our defender. But the ball then falls to Luis Suarez, who plays it into Muller, who takes the shot on the volley. Really good attempt from him, but Leno was there and he makes the save. Now we have a chance yet. Mbolo with the ball. Mbolo takes the shot, but a very poor shot from Mbolo. And Neuer makes the save here. Now the ball is with Mbolo, plays it into Shinji Kagawa here. Kagawa goes past Boateng. Kagawa takes the shot. Neuer makes a big mistake and the ball falls to Mbolo. Bolo who just had to slide the ball into the back of the net. Obviously not slide the ball, he just tapped it in. Really good goal from Mbolo there. Good attacking positioning from Mbolo. I think that's 88 or 89 in terms of start of the attacking positioning of Mbolo. That's really good to see. And then they have a chance here. Now the ball is with, I think it was with Florenzi who just gave it away to Vidal here. It's still Vidal here with the ball. Vidal turns and shoots but obviously a really bad shot and you guys need to remember this that we are playing here with our second team. I mean the only first team players are like Kagawa, Gundogan and Leno. The rest are all our second team players and that shows our defense was unable to contain Robin and he scores an absolute brilliant goal I mean it just went past like two or three of my players and then a beautiful finesse shot into the left side of the net here we have a chance to score the ball is with Shinji Kagawa here who takes a finesse shot it hits the post not once but twice and that means the score remains 1-0 but now another chance here for Hesse Rodriguez here Hesse plays it into Bazo here Bazo with the chance here to score but Neuer again with the save he's been amazing in this game and again now the ball is with Manuel Neuer he makes the mistake it falls to Embolo Embolo with the shot with his outside of his right foot and it hits the post again the third time we've hit the post with only like two shots that's a very very funny stat and now it's Muller with the ball here going down the wing here Muller finds Suarez in the middle Florenzi couldn't contain him Suarez scores with the header in the 81st minute of this game and that means we are losing two goals to one against Bayern Munich which is not a good result this will just bring Bayern Munich back in the title race something which we didn't want and that's gonna happen guys because that's the end of this game we have lost 2-1 to Bayern Munich a really difficult game against them we played well but unfortunately we lost as you can see now Schalke are top of the league here after 27 games with 65 points we are in second place with 65 points as well I don't know why we are in second place because our goal difference is the same I think they've scored more goals than us that, that's probably why Bayern Munich are in third place but they're now straight back in the title race with 64 points also let me know if you guys want me to sign uh, re-sign Ernesto Carazzo by voting in the straw poll below also, let me know your predictions for that Galatasaray game, which will be in the next episode. And also, let me know which player will finish top scorer in the Bundesliga, whether it will be Muller, Aubameyang, or maybe even Luis Suarez, who's now moved on to 14 goals. But that's it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I will see you guys in one of my next videos.